Okay, after KK Day, uh, let's talk about its biggest competitor, KLOOK. So KLOOK comes from Hong Kong. Its uh, headquarters is in Hong Kong, but it has its uh, technology team in Shenzhen in China and, and so many strong branches over the world. So <clears throat> KLOOK is uh, also a very young uh, travel uh, platform and it's uh, initiated by two young men only like aged 30, you know, early 30s. Uh, it's called Ethan and Eric. So um, in the past, they were doing um, capital gain. Okay, they are working in the financial um, investment bank, and 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 uh, with the, their their background in finance professionalism, they know how to you know manipulate the capital markets. They know how to persuade and talk to the investors, and using the right topic, using their their own advantages. You know to attract like so many investments so um compared with the kk day klook has like even more investment even more capital to do their marketing and to build up their product line and to win over kk day in so many uh, asian and and, and uh, western markets okay so um with a very high similarity let's uh, take a look at three different videos showcasing how KLOOK is doing its marketing and how it's you know pers persuading its uh, customers to buy its products so let's see the first one Okay, so from this uh, promotional video, what did you see? What is the main concept that this video is going to deliver? Okay, um, it's just saying that KLOOK is ensuring the tickets available for you okay so like in uh, uh, travel destinations if it's very popular you know uh, for travel agency and uh, the travelers the biggest hardship is to how to get a ticket you know how to really like make sure that you have the availability you know to get in you know to have the seats to have the room so KKD ensures you available tickets that is their first video's main concept. Alright, so in the second video, <coughs> what did you see? Okay, it's describing uh, the Klook um, beauty. Uh, this guy, uh, he went to Thailand 
to try so many different massages, right? And so he click like X for no, he click O for yes, you know. So he is doing his selection for the customers. So in this video, the main concept is that Caleb can ensure the quality, can ensure you know your enjoyment without you know going to some very bad services or you know very um, 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 poor quality stores. Okay, this is the second video. So let's see the third one. この価格の方が。1番。じゃ、こんな感じ。内線。お願い。お願いします。何してるの。お願い。すいません。お願い。お願い。美味しいね。大丈夫ですか? <音声>困难的事交给K-Look轻松旅程交给你享受K-Look优惠价格保证 美好行程轻松入手 all right, so the third video um, is talking about the Caleb guy uh, went to um, Okinawa and he wants to try if he can get a better price, you know, for the tickets into that, you know, um, aquarium, the park. Okay, um, so after some very hard you know, negotiation with the store owner, finally he succeeded. You know, he tried all the means in order to get the best price. So the third video is talking about Kaylook can ensure the lowest price you know, in the market. Okay, so the first video is talking about ensure the availability, available tickets. The second one is talking about ensuring the quality, okay, the enjoyment. And the third one is talking about ensuring the best price. Okay, let me ask you. In travel industry, these three guarantee, isn't it the most difficult one? Okay, quality, price, availability, they are so hard to be guaranteed, right? But why Klook could guarantee these three points for the consumers? Okay. The very basic reason behind is that Klook is very rich. Okay, it has a lot of money has a lot of monetary, you know, uh, a powerful, uh, even like, like um, 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 cons uh, it, it, it's capital power to, to um, negotiate with the suppliers, you know, to get all those com uh, elements for Kellogg and for their customers. So because this is rich, because there's money, you can do a lot of things to really like you know, crush their competitors. That's why KK Day in the same market cannot, you know, compete with Klook in the same strategy. If KK Day is going to be, you know, very cheap and, and, and ensure availability and, and all that, it's gonna be, you know, horrible because it doesn't have like so many resources to, to do the same thing. Right? This is Klook. So, among COVID-19 pandemic time, Kellogg is also looking for new business model, especially um, in the past, Kellogg's um, market focus is in Southeastern Asia and America, Europe. But for now, Kellogg uh, is also um, um, suffering from lockdown. So there's only Taiwan markets that's viable for doing business. So now Kellogg team in Taiwan is expanding. It's you know trying its very hard efforts 
you know, to make Kato survive during this time. So Kato KK Day, in the past, they are like strong competitors to each other, but for now, they are kind of like looking for diverse business models and, you know, building up different product lines to, to survive. So now, it's kind of like they are at the same boat. Okay. All right, so for tourist activity sector, there is a one, uh, I would say, very outstanding Taiwan travel startup called Funnow that deserves me to introduce to you. So Funnow, it's called the City Enjoyment App. Okay, so what are the enjoyments? What are the, the, the vacations in the city? Well, how can they do? How can they buy on the platform? Let's take a look at this video. Alright, so in the video you could uh, see um, like restaurants booking, uh, like massaging, like haircut, you know, like like so many uh, leisure uh, activities or leisure um, experiences that people living in the city would uh, choose to 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 do, you know, during their off work time or during the weekend. So apart from nice day, KK day, and Kaluk, Fana is more focusing on the residents, you know instead of the um, travelers or tourists. So once you are tired, you know, after work, um, you, you are going home. And on the way, there is a massaging store. Um, not too bad quality, okay? So when you have that need physically, you would just get into the store and have the massage service, right? So in the past, um, without funnel, those small stores in the city, they can only do the business you know, within that comfort zone. The comfort zone means the community that people would like cross by or, or, or like, you know, going by the stores or like when they think about, you know, having some services because they are living nearby, they know you, so they will go to use your services. That's in the past. And small stores don't have, you know, resources to do online marketing. They are not capable of spreading their uh, brand names, you know, out of that comfort zone. So Funnow sees that opportunity. He um, talks to those store owners and saying that <clears throat> you have your, you know, you know some some um, <clears throat> low business time. For example, like weekdays, you know, daytime. No one would go to a massage store, right? But during this time, you're still, um, you know, need to do your business. So why not? You give me a very good price, okay? And if your quality is not too bad, I can use your good price, your discounts to do the marketing for you on our platform. So that there might be some you know, people uh, that are available during the time uh, when they see you know, my promotional news, they will know that, oh, in this place, you have good quality service and you have discounted prices they might cross over that comfort zone coming from different areas to consume in your store. So this is something to uh, provide a solution for in-city small stores to do online marketing and to get the customers that they were supposed not to have. Okay. So this um, solution strategy is also very convincing for the investors. So uh, for now, gets uh, round and round and round investments and it's also expanding to different cities in Asia. It has its branch company in uh, Tokyo, in Hong Kong, in Bangkok, in Kuala Lumpur, etc. It's a global, you know, cross-border platform. And also among COVID-19, it has, you know, suffered from the lockdown. So it has to um, make those local branch to do the local business for their local residents. Okay, so but for now in Taiwan it's doing very well. 
So apart from um, those uh, massage restaurants, booking or party events or like haircuts, hot spring, you know, this kind of uh, vacation, uh, vacational experiences in the city, Fun Now has a uh, very, you know, successful product that I didn't mention on purpose because I want to show you this video. Let's watch. 你还想要吃点什么吗？我还想要吃你。Okay, um, I'm not sure if you understand this video um, because it's all in Mandarin Chinese, but um, let me guess. Um, you might have this uh, uh, need that uh, we call it day use, day use hotel. That maybe you are on business trip, uh, maybe you are like you know um, 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 exercising during the daytime, and then uh, you're away from home. So after exercising or like after the exhausting meetings. During your business trip, and you haven't been, you know, checking in your hotel. Now you will need a room to take a shower. You need a room to take a nap. And when you open Agoda or open、uh, Booking Expedia, you can only see the price for overnight stay. But you're not staying in that hotel. You haven't been checking in, or you 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 are away from home, but you will finally come back, right? So for now, you have that taking shower, taking nap, uh, need. How would you do? Okay, so Funnel sees that market potential, so it has this deal with hotel, saying that, um, you have your you know um 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 business uh, after three o'clock, that customer would check in. Until maybe like noon time, customer checking out. But between twelve o'clock or eleven o'clock and three or four, you know, p.m. These time are you know the time that、um, your room is empty, and also this is a time that most of the business people or exercising people would need to take a shower. They would use the room, and also for those you know couples or lovers, they want to have like two or three hours, you know. Having fun in the room,、um, this need of the market is strong, and there is no platform or no business are offering it. So in this video, you can see、uh, there are two couples. Okay, so one couple they want to go to the room and, and, and doing some you know something for fun themselves, and so the the first guy. He just opened Fun Now, and he sees the hotel room for two or three hours, and he can immediately book the room for instant use. And the second guy, the failed one, he opened Google Map, so he sees a lot of、uh, prices on Google Map, but that price is for overnight, and、uh, so he needs to、uh, find out the hotel, and then go to the hotel. And ask if there is available room for two or three hours, etc. And then that is a maybe the, the very popular a hot time. So yeah, he failed. He cannot find a room. So he and his girlfriend cannot go there, and he failed. Okay. So、um, this kind of、um, um, day use service in the past is kind of sensitive because people would regard it as a you know.、Um, um, Yeah, during the daytime, we want to find lover. We want to have you know one night stand. So we 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 go there and and have this kind of um, 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 service. <clears throat> so they need to call and ask. But for now, for now, he is doing this to meet this need of the market. And this need is very strong. So whether it's couples going to the room, whether it's exercising people or business trip people <clears throat> using the room. Funa is providing it, and also it has solved you know those、um, um, empty rooms for the hotels. So it meet everybody together, and it's getting outstanding, regardless of those OTAs 
already so strong, already dominant in the industry, Funnel still uh, takes advantage of it. They use service, they use product to get outstanding in the travel market. It's very smart. Okay, so um, it, it's not only uh, doing like two hours, three hours, it has like six hours, eight hours, or 12 hours, which means if you are uh, like going on a business trip, and after meetings and after the uh, networking, it's already 2 a.m. o'clock. <clears throat> it's too late to book the hotel on a down or booking <clears throat> because the price shown there is for the day, the for the next day, for the next night. So now you you are you are in the city, you are helpless. You need to find a place to to stay. You can open funnel. So it has 12 hour service, right? So after checking in in maybe like 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. you can stay 12 hours full until the next day 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. so you feel like it's quite okay like you you, you still have enough time and enough like um, <clears throat> uh, 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 like the space you know to, to have a good rest so that's a fun house uh, setting point and also the staff working in fun house shared with me you know, um, what time will that day use flow gets, you know, its peak? It's not Friday night, it's not weekend. It's actually weekdays, daytime, afternoon until like afternoon. So like, this is the lowest business time for hotels, right? But this is the highest business time <clears throat> for day use. So it meets the supply and the demand. It's successful. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so, uh, we just uh, introduced um, KK Day, Kelook, Nice Day, and Fana. <clears throat> there is a company. <clears throat> it's called uh, uh, KDMJ. So KDMJ, uh, it's not on the slide, but it's uh, a new business model that's emerging because of all those tourist activities platforms getting mature. So what is KDMG? <clears throat> the founder AJ used to be a um, scooter rider, okay, motorcycle rider. So he provides this kind of experience for his customers to get on his motorcycle and he rides the motorcycle with the guests on the back to you know countryside with a very high speed. So that's an exciting experience. He was the coach, he was the service provider himself. <clears throat> so after some time, he found that those local suppliers, coaches, directors, tour guides, um, they want to have their product experiences being uploaded onto KK Day or Nice Day or KLOOK, but they don't have that ability you know, to do digital marketing, to package or design their products. They don't know how to do a product, you know, in a complete and a nice way. And for KKD and Kelook or like Lion Travel, this uh, <clears throat> online selling distributor, it's really difficult for them to find uh, the local suppliers, <clears throat> like those individual coaches or tour guides, etc. So they need to build up a BD team and spending a lot of efforts and time to really look for good products. And sometimes because they don't understand, you know, the local political ecosystem, so they might probably um, um, step on, you know, someone's uh, red line, you know, and, and, and making this coach uh, very angry because he cooperates with the other coach. And these two coaches, they are like enemies to each other. So this kind of um, um, BD um, uh, political senses um, would be the, the pain point for KKD and KLU. So it's hard to find good suppliers. So good suppliers, hard to get their products completed and uploaded onto platform. Platform, hard to get the good suppliers. So KDMG, uh, AJ, he wants to build up a connection, a bridge for two sides. So he forms his, his own company and to do this, uh, you know, connecting job. So it's called agent, all right? It's an activity agent. So activity agent, 
is a very new business model. Um, it successfully connects two sides, and so when a customer purchase the order, purchase the product, every order um, AJ has 25% commission out of it. So KKDA needs 20%, AJ needs 25%, it makes its original product price deducted 45%. But even though for those local suppliers, they are accepting it, they agree with this high commission. Why? Because this um, agent and this distributor both solve their problems of marketing, of selling products, of you know, good customer services. Those coaches, those tour guides and suppliers, they only need to take care of their own um, experience part. They can make clients happy. They can have, you know, create very good memories and experiences for their customers, and that's enough. So it's kind of like a good allocation of the professionalism. Okay, everybody is strong in its own part. And when three parties come together, it gets a new, you know, um, 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 service quality, a new service package. So this is how tourist activities has its its developing trend into that allocation, into that ecosystem. And we are really like looking forward to the maturity of digitization of tourist and activities industry. All right, let's uh, take a break. Let's end our tourist activity part here and we'll continue in the next one.